My name is Jason Beard, Wastewater Collections Manager here at Eastern Municipal Water District. The district has over 1,850 miles of pipe that we maintain. Each crew averages about a mile and a half of pipe clean per day. We also have other crews. We have a construction crew. Uh, we have a vacuum crew that specializes in juice vacuum at the four treatment plants that we have. People think that once that water's gone out of the sink or the toilet, then it's gone and it's out of sight, out of mind, and that's not the case at all. As wastewater journeys to the sewer, it makes its way to one of EMWD's four water reclamation facilities. I'm Steve Alcaraz, I'm Water Reclamation Operator 3 at Reno Valley Treatment. This is the uh, end product of our rag bin. It goes through quick compaction, gets rid of a lot of the moisture in the rags. It gets pushed through and it ends up right here in this bin which we dump daily. Uh, these bar screens are screening out a lot of the rags that come through. A lot of the material you see here will make its way to the rag washer, but a percentage of it also makes it through the bar rake and that material will stay throughout the plant. It's important to remember, Everything that goes down your drains makes its way to the waste treatment plants. A lot of the materials that are not okay to flush will end up here at the plant. They make it past the screening area and the material will end up in one of our tanks. It can cause plugging of the line and it also ends up in other areas of our plant, which creates a lot more work for us. We've got to pull lines apart, pull piping apart to uh, clear those lines. Flushing then forgetting seems to be a common issue facing our collection and treatment plant crews. Please remember that just because something goes down the drain, doesn't mean it goes away. EMWD, serving our community today and tomorrow.